what I've got laying here is a uh, three large flat sautés. We've got one Jatoba, one Mexican Ebony, and one Bloodwood. Uh, both, uh, none of these have been oiled for probably a solid year. And uh, I, these are my own utensils and I treat them as hard, as badly as I can just to see if they can take it. Uh, I don't expect yours to look this bad <laughs> because I treat mine horribly. But what I'm gonna do here is oil one of these up, probably this Mex Mexican Ebony right here. And I'm gonna use this little guy, which is a little chunk of Scotch-Brite uh, that came with your order. Uh, it's wood care on the front and it actually has the instructions for taking care of it on the back. Uh, it's actually no different than the uh, green side of a regular kitchen sponge. So if you lost this or threw it away or already used it, you can always use the back side. And it's, it's a good idea to always use the back side of your sponge, sponge when you're washing these anyways. Because what it does is uh, it constantly just takes off the tiniest little layer of material there. And there's no stain or anything on these. They're this color all the way through. So um, if you're constantly taking off a layer, you're just constantly exposing a brand new layer of wood. So it'll keep them looking great for years. So what you wanna do <clears throat> is start with a dry utensil. Uh, if it's not dry, let it out for overnight or so. Uh, and take this Scotch-Brite and just rub it as hard as you can in the direction of the grain is the best way to do it. And if there's any little uh, fuzz on the utensil or whatnot, this will take it right off and get it feeling nice and smooth. You might get some sawdust coming off of there. It's basically a piece of, it's kind of just like a piece of sandpaper that's really fine grit. So we'll get both ends of it and then I'm gonna get the edges too. You can see the dust landing on the table there. That's normal. So, then you want to just clean all that dust off of there. I got a bunch on the table. Just going to want to take your wood oil, which uh, is all food safe mineral oil with a little bit of lemon peel oil in there to make it smell good. And I just pour it right on there and work it in with my fingers. And this stuff never dries and never forms a coating. So you want to get as much as you can on there and leave it on there as long as you can to get everything soaked in that you can possibly get soaked in. What the oil does is just, uh, A, it makes it look better, as you can see already. But the most important thing about oiling wood is wood repel, or, uh, oil repels water. And uh, it's the soaking up and drying out of water that wrecks wooden utensils, just like it does on a street, <laughs> you know, when uh, like a street soaks up water and ice is over and then thaws out, it'll crack a street. Well, it'll do the same thing to wood. So um, the best thing to do here is get as much oil on it as you can and let it sit there, hopefully overnight. And that's pretty much the best thing to do. Uh, if it's really dry, you'll come back in the morning and there will, you won't see any of this shiny liquid anymore. That means it all soaked in because it doesn't dry. Uh, for this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and dry this off. And if you just want them to look better for a party or something, just throw a little on there. Let it sit for just a second and wipe it off. And that's all it takes. She's totally done. You can see it pretty much, I mean, that looks exactly like a new one. Thank you.